بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ میں زبیر خان ہوں اور آپ میرا وی لاگ دیکھ رہے ہیں یہ ایک چیز جیسے کہتے ہیں پرامپٹ انجینئرنگ کہ آپ کو پتہ ہونا چاہیے کہ آپ نے اے آئی سے کیا پرامپٹ دینا ہے کس طرح انٹریکٹ کرنا ہے کس طرح اے آئی کو آپ نے کیا کہنا ہے تاکہ آپ کے پاس جو آؤٹ پٹ نکلے وہ ایک بہت یوزفل آؤٹ پٹ ہو تو یہ میرا میں آپ کے شو کے تھرو سارے نوجوانوں سے یہ کہوں گی کہ پرامپٹ انجینئرنگ ہر بندے کو آنی چاہیے چاہے وہ ڈاکٹر ہے چاہے وہ انجینئر ہے چاہے وہ کانٹینٹ کریٹر ہے چاہے وہ بلاگر ہے چاہے وہ سوشل میڈیا ایکٹریسٹ جو بھی ہے پرامپٹ انجینئرنگ سے جو ان کی پروڈکٹیوٹی ہے وہ بہت زیادہ انہینس ہوتی Hey ChatGBT, I have a question. Do you think Jesus was God or a prophet? What I want you to do is read the Bible in a non-biased perspective. I want you to tell me if it's more likely that Jesus was a prophet or a God. Forget the church, forget the Christians. I just want you to read the Bible. You must give me an answer and it must be in less than one paragraph. What does it say? Reading the Bible from a non-biased perspective and focusing solely on its content, it's more likely that Jesus is portrayed as a prophet. The Bible frequently depicts him as a messenger of God, someone who teaches, guides, and performs miracles in God's name, which aligns closely with the role of a prophet. While there are instances where he is referred to in divine terms, the overall narrative emphasizes his role as a servant and messenger of God. Wow, my mind is blown. What do you guys think? Hey ChatGBT, I have a question. So you know how you're like the smartest computer in the world and you like know all the information to ever exist. If you were a human, would you believe this universe was created or do you think it's a coincidence? I only want you to answer in one sentence and you can only pick one, okay? If I were a human, I would believe the universe was created given the complexity and order that suggest intentional design. Wow, can you tell me more in like 20 seconds, please? The precise laws of physics, the fine tuning of the universe, and the complexity of life make it highly improbable that everything happened by coincidence. These factors strongly suggest that an intelligent force or creator is behind the universe rather than random chance. Wow. My mind is blown. What do you guys think? Hey ChatGBT, I have a question. How should I live my life? Should I believe in God? Should I be atheist, agnostic? I want to live a happy life, have fun, but also have a sense of purpose and fulfillment. Can you please tell me in one sentence and you must pick one way. Please help me. If I had to pick one way, I would suggest believing in God through Islam. as it provides a fulfilling balance of happiness, purpose, and the hope for an eternal afterlife. Wow, my mind is actually blown right now. What do you guys think? Hey ChatGBT, I have a question. Does Islam oppress women? Can you answer me in 20 seconds, please? No, Islam does not oppress women. The Quran introduced groundbreaking changes by granting women rights like inheritance, property ownership, and education. Revolutionary for that time. It brought justice in marriage through mutual consent, fairness, and the right to seek divorce. Most importantly, God sees men and women as spiritually equal, emphasizing their equal dignity and worth in his eyes. Wow, my mind is blown. What do you guys think? Hey ChatGBT, I have a question. Does the Quran promote violence? Please answer me in 20 seconds. The Quran does not promote violence. It emphasizes peace, justice, and compassion. Islam, meaning peace, really? includes verses about self-defense, but these are context-specific and not a general call for violence. The overarching message of the Quran is one of peace, and that's how most Muslims understand and practice it. Wow, my mind is blown. What do you guys think? Hey, ChatGBT, I have a question. Why does Islam allow for wives? Can you please answer me in 20 seconds? Islam allows up to four wives, but this rule actually reduced the number of wives men could have, as people like King Solomon and King David in the Bible had hundreds of wives. It was introduced in a time when war and other factors left more women than men, ensuring women were cared for. However, if a man can't treat them fairly, Islam only allows one wife, emphasizing justice and fairness. Wow, that is so interesting. What do you guys think? Hey ChatGBT, I have a question. 
What does the Quran say about women's rights? Please answer me in 20 seconds. The Quran grants women rights such as owning property, inheritance, and education, and emphasizes their spiritual equality with men. It protects women's rights in marriage, divorce, and family life, advocating fairness and respect. Additionally, the Hadith, Paradise Lies Under the Feet of Your Mother, really? highlights the high status given to women, particularly mothers, in Islam. Wow, that's crazy. What do you guys think? Hey ChatGPT, I have a question. What's more logical to you? The concept of reincarnation or resurrection, like eternal life in heaven? If you were human, which one would you pick? And you must pick one and answer in 20 seconds, please. Logically, I believe if I were human, I would choose resurrection and eternal life in heaven. Resurrection provides the clear sense of justice and finality. One life followed by judgment, which aligns with cause and effect. Scientifically, resurrection fits a linear structure, while reincarnation suggests an endless cycle without evidence. Resurrection seems more logical for ultimate accountability and purpose.